Today we're going to make um, some watercolor apples that go uh, in a little still life based on the work of Paul Cezanne. And we've got this already set up and uh, it's got some circles drawn on it on some very thick watercolor paper. And you always want to start by writing your name on the back of your paper. And the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your brush is wet. So you dip it in the water and you get a little bit wet because these are watercolors. And these are dry right now. This isn't the kind of paint that you will push down in. You actually just have to rub across the surface and you'll start to get some paint on your paintbrush. So I'm going to take my water and I'm going to just kind of spread that around and I can also get some water and put more of it into that little tray of paint. And I'm not going to smash my brush down, I'm just gently guiding it around so I have a nice apple. It's okay if you go past that line because we're going to cut these out later. Alright, now I'm going to rinse my brush out, I'm going to wipe it on my paper towel because I don't want to mix this in with my yellow. So now I add some water to this yellow one and I can start to put it onto this circle here to make a yellow apple. Alright, I'm going to rinse my brush out, wipe it off again, and add some water to my red. And I'm just gently dabbing that paintbrush in there, never hitting it very hard. Okay. Rinse and wipe. Another thing you can do is you can get one of your apples wet and you can add color into it. You can see that has a very interesting effect. Um, and you can also do a little bit of color mixing. So I'm going to get my brush cleaned off so I don't have too much of the red on there and I'm going to get some of this yellow. I'm going to mix it in and I just kind of dab it in and I end up with this nice orange here at the top of my apple. Can get this one here. If you mix green and red, you'll find that you end up with a brown, which we don't want to have brown apples, those look kind of rotten. But you could mix green and yellow and have a different kind of green in there. I'll try some more of this wet technique here. I'm always rinsing my brush off in between colors. All right, it'll start to kind of get a little bit bowed like that. When you're done, you just put your brush in the water. You'll take it to the drying rack, and the next time we come, we'll cut them out because they'll be nice and dry.